Ecuador is famous for being the home of the Galapagos Islands and also referred as the middle of the world. But there is so much more to the fourth smallest nation in South America. In today's video, I want to talk about the incredible experience that Ecuador has to offer. 19 things to do in Ecuador. Dale. La mitad del mundo. The Equator Line is an impressive phenomenon that runs through many cities and several countries, including Ecuador's middle of the world, one of the country's most popular tourist destinations. Located just 20 kilometers from the center of Quito, visitors can easily rent a motorcycle or take a bus to reach this incredible landmark. You can enjoy many activities, exploring small shops and dining at excellent restaurants. The middle of the world is an unforgettable destination that offers insight into the fascinating diversity and wonder of our planet. Number 2. Temple of the Sun Ecuador is home to an impressive collection of artifacts and artwork from the Inca civilization. Just approximately 40 minutes from Quito itself, we find this curious temple of the painter Ortega Mayla. No doubt, the Temple of the Sun Museum and Mayla's art offer a unique and enriching cultural experience for all who visit. The inspiration they had to build this thing 20 years ago? My gosh, it was a unique experience, I'm not even kidding. Number 3. El Museo Nacional de Ecuador Located in Quito's Old Town is a treasure trove of history, art, and culture. With over 20,000 pieces in its collection, the museum offers visitors a glimpse into the rich and diverse heritage of this beautiful country, making Ecuador's National Museum a must-visit. Number 4. Quito's Historic Center Quito is known for its beautiful historic center and also UNESCO World Heritage Site, home to many beautiful buildings and landmarks, such as the Plaza de la Independencia, the Presidential Palace, and the Basilica del Voto Nacional. Explore el Panecillo, a sculpture with a stunning view of the entire city of Quito. Walk in front of the San Francisco Catholic Church and the Metropolitan Cathedral, and do not miss on coming back and watching the Basilica del Voto Nacional at night. Number 5 Centro de Arte Contemporáneo de Quito Number 6 Volcán Cotopaxi if The Cotopaxi is one of the most iconic and majestic volcanoes in the world. Located in Ecuador, Andes mountain range, standing at over 19,000 feet tall, it is one of the highest active volcanoes in the world. While only two hours away from Quito, several hostels and travel agencies offer daily tours, but it might be worth it if you take a bus and travel to the Cotopaxi area. From there, many hostels will give you a better price if you want to climb the volcano or simply reach the refuge. My favorite part was renting a bike and going downhill for about 18 kilometers while taking in the amazing scenery. Number 7, Volcán y Laguna Quilotoa. The lake was formed over 800 years ago by a massive volcano eruption, and today it is a natural wonder and an important cultural site for the local indigenous communities. Visitors can hike around the lake, go kayaking, or even take a dip in the refreshing waters. Number 8, El Pailón del Diablo. Located in the province of Tungarahua in Ecuador, it is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the region and for a good reason. The waterfall is named for its dramatic drop into the thundering sound of the water as it crashes into a pool below. The surrounding area is also incredibly beautiful with the lush of vegetation and steep cliffs. Visitors can hike down to the base of the waterfall for an up-close view and learn about traditions of indigenous people who have lived in the area for centuries. Number 9. Baños de Agua Santa Baños is known for its natural hot springs, stunning waterfalls, and breathtaking scenery. Visitors can hike, bike, or horseback ride through the nearby mountains and forests, or relax in one of the town's many hot springs. In addition to its natural attractions, Baños is also a hub for adventure tourism, with activities such as rafting, zip lining, and bungee jumping available for thrill seekers. And don't forget to visit Las Manos de Dios and La Casa del Duende. Number 10, Mega Park Adventure. Are you looking for an adrenaline packed adventure in Ecuador? 
Look no further than Mega Park Adventure. Located in Baños, Mega Park Adventure offers thrilling activities including ziplining, bungee jumping, and giant swing. With breathtaking views of the Tungarahua Volcano, Mega Park Adventure is the perfect destination for thrill seekers and nature lovers alike. Don't miss your chance to experience the ultimate adventure in Ecuador. Number 11, Cascada del Rocio Machai. Just a few meters from Mega Park Adventure is this waterfall in the middle of nature, away from the commotion of people and transportation. Enjoy swimming in the river, peace of mind, and a good hike. Number 12, Cuenca Historic Center. A UNESCO World Heritage Site located in the heart of the Southern Andes. This colonial city features stunning architecture, charming cobblestone streets, and picturesque plazas that showcase its rich history and culture. You can explore the magnificent cathedrals, museums, and art galleries that celebrate the city's vibrant past and present. Number 13, Mercado 9 de Octubre y 3 de Noviembre. The most iconic markets in Cuenca. These marketplaces are filled with vibrant colors, smells, and sounds of local life. Here you can find a wide range of fresh produce from exotic fruits to locally grown vegetables, as well as fresh seafood and meat. A great place to discover the flavors and traditions of Cuenca surrounded by skilled local artisans. And don't forget to visit the Modern Art Museum if you have a chance. Number 14, Museo Puma Pungo. A free attraction in Cuenca. This museum offers visitors the opportunity to explore the rich history of the region. The museum itself is located within the ruins of an Incan fortress where you can wander through the archaeological sites and the beautiful gardens that surround the museum. No matter how you're getting there, don't forget to stop by other museums on the way and other historical buildings. Salinas. Welcome to a small coastal town known for its beautiful beaches, rich cultural heritage, and delicious seafood. The town is located on the Pacific coast, offering visitors miles of pristine beaches where you can swim, surf, and soak up the sun. Number 16, Montañita. Probably the most relaxed, cool atmosphere in Ecuador, in my opinion. Montañita is a small, coastal, vibrant town that became hub for many travelers, surfers, and backpackers around the world. Montañita also has a thriving nightlife scene with bars, clubs, and restaurants that stay open late into the night. Number 17, El Malecón 2000. Next to Guayas River, a boardwalk approximately 1.5 kilometers long, full of monuments loaded with the history of Guayaquil throughout its extension, as well as museums, playgrounds, fountains, restaurants, bar, food courts, as well as a large hidden shopping mall. You can also take these boat tours where locals offer them on the Guayas River days and nights. And hey, once you're done with this side, let's hop to the other with number 18, Isla Santay. Next to the city of Guayaquil and Durang, is an island that has become an icon of tourism in the area. You can rent a bike if you prefer not to walk. Santay is home to 128 species of bird and 12 endangered species of crocodiles. It also comes with an echo village populated by around 56 families since the 1950s. Not to mention, entrance is free. Pro tip, don't forget your bug spray and water. Number 19, Plaza Guayarte right in the heart of Guayaquil. With this unique blend of traditional and modern design, this open-air plaza is the perfect place to shop, dine, and enjoy live entertainment. From trendy boutiques to gourmet restaurants, there's something here for everyone. Okay, and that wraps up the video for today, guys. And as always, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.